exponential growth of the coronavirus pandemic has kept most of us at home. While fun isn't exactly on anybody's vocabulary right now, and we have no intention to stir any misconceptions, but as we all know, the situation is already sad as it is, and we've got to make the most of what we've got. Something we've all got plenty of now, that many of us are under a stay-at-home order, are these precious and extremely valuable resources, spelled T-I-M-E, time. Yes, we've got an abundant number of seconds, minutes and hours to spend, and never in a million years did this busy and fast-paced generation have been so rich with free time. If you're like most people with short attention spans or you're simply getting bored wasting hours on end, fixating your eyeballs on Netflix or being bored playing board games or hopscotch with your siblings, then this video may just help add onto your productive distractions list. Yesterday's top 10 simple tips to reduce the spread of coronavirus was a bit heavy and serious. So on a lighter note, today we will tackle Sir John's top 10 fun stay-at-home activities to explore while you are um, stuck at home. Number 10. Bond with your pets. If anybody is at all overjoyed as a result of all these overwhelming situations worldwide, it would have to be our fur babies. In our pets' minds, they're probably wondering, why is my mama always home now? Nevertheless, they're not complaining, nuh -uh. In fact, they're grinning from ear to ear, now that their whole family is always at home with them. Fun, right? Gyms may be temporarily closed, but we are still allowed to go out in the sun and actually exercise. And hey, now you have no excuse to not walk your dog, or play with your cat, or turtle, or goldfish, or with Mr. Hamster over there. Number 9. Meditate. While taking care of you and your pet's physical health is of high importance, another top priority which many often neglect is their mental health. It's a stressful world out there. People are filled with fear and anxiety, with all the uncertainty that's going on. Now more than ever, you need to ensure that you and your loved ones find time to tap into your inner senses, Find a safe sanctuary to think, ponder, reflect, and just free your thoughts while practicing mindfulness through meditation. May we recommend for you to subscribe and share with people you care the most about our other branded channel, Meditation Mantras by Sir John. This new channel is relevant to the needs of the times and each meditation piece was customized with binaural beats, solfeggio frequencies, or alpha waves, just to name a few, in helping you find the most soothing way to clear your thoughts and pamper the mind. Number 8. More self-care. These are the best times to catch up on some sleep that you've been so deprived of lately. Upon waking up well rested, feel free to proceed to even more self-care. And yes, we mean treating yourself to a rejuvenating face mask. A hot bubble bath at your own jacuzzi surrounded by rose petals, scented candles and your favourite essential oils while tagging your fave buddy, Prince Rubber Ducky. After all, we deserve this break right before we go back to reality, so let us maximise the luxury of free time bestowed upon us. Number 7. Launch your TikTok or YouTube channel. Hey, this may not apply to all, but you certainly have nothing to lose if you choose to act silly dancing on TikTok or go crazy doing fun video logs on YouTube with your little sister. You might even gain some new friends or subscribers and build a potential following for a future influencer gig. Plus, you're doing your part in the community by providing weird and fun entertainment to help people from losing their sanity. Speaking of vlogs, go ahead and subscribe to our two personal channels, Kayla and Sir John's Vlogs. And the Asian Gigster. We have fun challenges, reviews, and premium giveaways up for grabs. But why? Just because. Well, why not? Number 6. 
learn a foreign language online. As varied as the choices are for a new instrument which you can learn how to play, so are the choices on a new foreign language to master. French, Japanese, Spanish, Chinese, Filipino, Vietnamese, Italian, German, Korean, Russian, Greek, Portuguese, Arabic, Hindi, British, Swahili, Hawaiian and uh, even Latin or Scottish Gaelic if you like. A simple Google search will do the trick. Learn how to play a new instrument. Have you been putting off the chance to learn how to play your favourite instrument? Well, the choices are endless. Guitar, ukulele, piano, flute, saxophone, violin, banjo, trumpet, clarinet, cello, drums, or the French horn. There's various apps and free online resources to help you since hiring a teacher during the era of social distancing may not be feasible yet. Just take your pick. Number five. Write a poem or a song. While feeling the French romantic vibe, why not compose beautiful prose or poetry? If you're feeling extra extra, then maybe you could even write a song dedicated to your future boyfriend. Not your thing, but why not? Number 4. Read or write a book. Since public libraries were also temporarily shut down, you may want to consider reading on your growing pile of purchased books, just sitting there accumulating dust. Just make sure you wipe it clean first, okay? If ebooks are your thing, then the online world will be like your free-for-all candy store. If you're the writer type, then it's about time to break the writer's block and work on crafting your book to secure your spot as a future New York Times best-selling author. Number three. Explore a new hobby. Enough said. From baking to cooking to drawing, painting, gardening, the choices are endless on expressing your creativity or unleashing the Picasso in you. You may even want to develop a new APP or just chillax and tell bedtime horror stories to your little ones. If all else fails, you can always go back to cleaning and disinfecting your house. If that's what you find fun, so be it. Whatever floats your boat, right? Number two, check up on your loved ones. Now is the perfect time to reconnect and make up for lost time back when you were oh so busy. You can give your high school best friend or your dear Aunt Sally a quick call just to check if they're safe and sound. You may even FaceTime with your lovely crush in Brazil or the beautiful people of the Philippines. But whatever you do, please just promise that you'll never, ever reconnect back with your exes. Period. Pinky swear? Well, don't you dare say we didn't warn you. Number 1. E-learning. Yeah, we know, the sound of this is nothing but fun to most students now forced to attend interactive classrooms online because their schools shut down as a result of the pandemic. Please don't dread it, it's not that bad, we promise. In fact, this deserves the number one spot since e-learning is actually one of the most in-demand searched items on Google nowadays. In fact, if you play your cards right and are feeling a bit entrepreneurial, then you may even stumble upon profitable categories of home-based businesses. Now we're talking. Well, since people have started to get a taste of what work at home is like, or somehow adapted to the flexibility of e-learning, some are also opening up the potential of learning new courses, either for personal growth and development, or even starting a new business empire. Yes, online business is no longer just the wave of the future. It is present here, now, today. Countless success stories of first-generation millionaires made their fortune online within the last decade. So, how exactly do you go about starting your online empire? And which industries can potentially add unlimited zeros to your bank account? Well, first things first, make sure that you've subscribed to our channel and don't forget to hit that bell notification button to avoid missing out on any of these. Because soon enough, that's a topic we'd have to explore on another video of Sir John's Top 10.